All right, folks, it's still late winter fishing mode for these crappies. They are hanging around on the deep water right by the dam. So, um, yeah, if swimming lures are not catching them, right, as easy as it should be, because, you know, small little lures like, uh, you know, small little bee vibes and stuff like that, small little crankbaits, small little jerkbaits, they're not chasing far. That means they're lethargic, and the best way to fish these guys are with lures that you keep in a strike zone longer. And I am using a new lure today, and this lure here is inspired by the Lindy Fuzzy Grub. Check these lures from Big Bite Baits, okay? The Linder, 1.5 inch, soft plastic body with a jig, but marabou tail. And you guys have seen some of my videos. I love to do some hacks with some of my used plastic, or heck, I love using Z-Man stuff because it floats, right? And it's heavy. But um, yeah, if you don't want to uh, do any sort of hacking, this might be for you. And once again, I am fishing this with the Surinoya BFS setup, right? I got the Dark Wolf Ultra, spooled with thin line, various line, 0.6 go, and I have four pound mono filament from Sunline, the natural mono filament. And I'm using a Suna Dragon C602 Ultralight because this is a pretty fast tip, but it has a nice moderate bend. It helps you detect those strikes because when you are fishing lures like this, you're not casting reeling it okay you see the tail it's just hair okay when you just reel straight it just looks like a lure moving through the water how these lures works best is either you float it right on a jig and twitch the bobber and let it you know stay in place or you do lift and drop yo-yos and you slay a lot of fish so let's get on the water and catch some crappies let's go all right so there's a lot of wind here today and um, yeah, <laughs> you can see that it got curved to the left, but I am getting some good distance here. So it's, it's weighted pretty good. Okay, it's weighted pretty good. Uh, most of the crappies are still partially winter mode. It is 11 o'clock and I think most of the crappies are starting to suspend. Ooh, here we go. They suspend like in an open um, area by the dam. So it makes it easy for me to catch them. I just pick them off in a size structure scan and have at it. Oh yeah, I was here and I was casting. I was trying to do another episode of uh, this guy right here. Okay, I have a minnow bait, right? This is from AliExpress. It sinks, it uh, shimmies on the fall, right? It wobbles really nicely through the water, but you know, I'm combing water and I only got like three fish, the same area, right? And I was like, dude, that's half an hour, three fish. They're not, they're not at that active. Let's put on a jig and see how effective it is. And this is like the second cast and bam, we just nailed one crappy on his jig. Let's uh, catch some more. All right, so this spot right here is not too bad. We got some windblown areas. I am looking, my side truck scan, it's hard to see with the sun beating in there. But yeah, I am gonna circle back around. I'm gonna start from that way and blow back around. Makes things easier. But yeah, they're, they're all over right now. But, um, you know, there's always a few places that you put the jig in better than, you know, other swimming lures. And that is near structure because you could lift and drop. You could put it on a float and it's flat out slays. I wish they made a lighter version because I, I um, want it on a, let's say, a 132nd ounce jig for a colder situation like this. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how active this fi uh, these fishes are. But what's really important when you're fishing this style of lift and drop, you know, yo-yoing, you gotta have a nice sensitive rod. And I am using, like I said, the Dragon. Okay, Surinoya Dragon. And uh, this is a Gen 1 and it's, it's great. I'm loving it. Very sensitive. Oh, here's a fish right there. Woo! Hi, crappy. Here we go. Look at that. The belly's getting a little bit big. Off you go. A little algae right there. Let's get it close to the wall. I think the wall has some too. You know, the walls are great because it absorbs heat, right? And the bugs are, are crawling up it, you know, aquatic bugs. And uh, it's a free buffet for the fish who wants to eat off the wall. It's pretty cool. Here 
Here we go. Wee wee wee. Oh yeah. Here we go. A black jig, white body, and um, white marabou. Just killing it. Just killing it. Okay. Oh, that's a fish right there. Yeah, I marked a huge school right over there, man. Dude, I could do this all day long. The hair jig, man. The hair jig. The linder. 1.5. Slaying. Let's go, let's go. Got a tree. I like that. Take that tree. I'm glad these stuff are cheaper than tying and I'm not wasting time tying, right? So let's put a different color on. It's a little mucky. I know um, crappies love electric chicken. Let's try electric chicken now, shall we? Hold up, let me put this on and uh, I'm gonna go away from the tree for now because uh, like I said, this jig actually sinks a lot quicker because it is kind of heavy. I wish they had even lighter ones and uh, that allowed me to fish a little bit um, not as deep as quick. You know, I may have to use a float if I need to suspend it because this is just, just pretty heavy. I would typically use a 132nd ounce hair jig, but you know, given that this lead and plastic and everything, it's close to three grams. Uh, I'm assuming the head is around 1 16th ounce, maybe? Um, so yeah, it, it sinks pretty fast. Two, three, four, five. So what I'll do is I'll fish by the dam and uh, the rock walls for now and come back to the trees later if I really need to. And I, I do have some floats. Got to bring some floats, everyone, okay? And I really, really like the small little trout magnet floats because they're just so efficient. You get to put it on, you can take it off, and you don't really damage the lines. So anyway, let's get to the deep waters and uh, do some slaying. Yeah, that's a lot of fish right by the wall. See all this black stuff right there? Those are all fish. But man, the algae is strong. Here, let me turn this way and just cast right to the wall, just like that. I mean, that's a lot of fish. And that's a lot to the left too. This is what I think though, okay? All the fish that's in the deep water, you gotta spoon feed them. All the fish that's closer to the shallows, they're the more active ones. So target the, the ones that are active, I guess. Here we go. Got one. Whoop. Here we go. Likes the pink one. Woo. Yeah. Here we go. Look at that. Sweet. All right. Off this guy, go. Back to the crappy zone. Got him. Got him. Yeah, I could do this all day long. What's up, dude? What's up? You hungry for some hair jigs? Cause I got you. I got you. But off you go. I'll get your brother next. Whee. Nice fish. Whoa, this is a Mondo. This is a big one. Woo! All righty. See you, dude. Getting fat. Oh, that was fish right in his mouth. That's fish again. Yeah, they're very light taps today. But they want it. They want it. Dude, they're pretty big. They're massive. 
you know, I could probably use my net as a way to just hold all the crappies, right? Like this. I'll just put on my little clip right here. My net do float. And I'm gonna show you how effective this lure is in like five minutes of worth of catch. Ready? Let's do this. Oh, that's a fish right there. Lost it. Oh, that's another fish right there. <laughs> These crappies, man. These crappies. Smaller one, but still a crappy. Oh, no, he just jumped off the freaking uh, basket. Fish. Ha ha. You're just hanging out right there, man. Ooh, this is a good one, too. Very good one. Use the tools, use the tools. Got it. All right, another fish. A fish, oh, came off. Fish. Another one. Crappy for days, man, crappy for days. Cast after cast. All right, off it goes. Into the basket, right? Oh, that one came off. Here we go. Some deep water fish. What do you got? A crappy. All right, this is a big slab. All right, whoa, I'm gonna hit the, the edge of the dam. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn, turn, turn. All right, look at the slab. He got pecked before. All right, let me just get out of this way because uh, I'm really scared of that dam. But here you go, look at that. All right, folks, as you saw, all the fish are still at the end of the lake, right by the dam, the deep waters, right? Although the surface temperature was reaching 50 degrees, below that is likely a lot cooler. And then at the back creeks, because the back creeks have colder water, there's a cold spring right back there. They didn't want to do anything back there. But uh, we have a couple of warm days coming up this week. As you see, I am in short sleeves, right? And um, yeah, I can't wait for this weekend. Although this weekend's gonna be raining, that's still fine. I'm still gonna be out there fishing. I might not be filming, right? But with the rain, it's gonna help spread that temperature apart on the lake, right? Get all the water, pretty consistent same temp, and it's gonna be on fire for spring fishing, all right? This is the week, all right? We have three days of warm temp and then rain. I'm gonna put the baby to sleep and I'll be out there fishing just a little bit and then I'm gonna come back. That's the way to do it, all right? Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. This lure here is gonna be hot. If you are still in the late winter, right? With late winter bites, you need this type of lures to uh, coast those lethargic fish, get that. But if your fishing is on fire, you can throw pretty much anything. Any sort of swimming lures is probably something a little bit better. And the next video, I got a tailspin lure from a band of anglers, the dart spin, all right? So stay tuned for that, because some of the fish at the end of the uh, lake started to bite and whew, although they're out there right by the dam the bite definitely picked up better than my spooning day which was a couple weeks before this video okay anyway i'm not gonna keep you guys any longer i hope you have enjoyed it if you have any questions feel free to leave me a comment below i left some links in the bottom for you to get this lore anyway i thank you all for watching the fish don't wait pre-spawn is right around your corner because it's around my corner right now in new jersey get out there catch the fish